First thing I want to ask, I want to take you back a couple, or I guess to yesterday, um, you know, two games in three days. Coach, can you talk about just preparing for this game? And I mean, Vermont hasn't played in five days, I think. Right. So, you know, they've obviously been preparing for almost a week. Can you talk about just what you did yesterday? Right. Well, I, I really think, you know, um, first of all, we just have a real tough team. Uh, I think from you know, top to bottom, we have a really tough team. They're, they're very focused. Uh, we go over Vermont stuff yesterday for the first time, and uh, you know, they just they really listen. They're they're intense, and, and, and because they want to be, you know, no one's making them. And um, they're they're as I just told the guys on the radio, they're just they're really fantastic. You know, I'm almost surprised more and more every day how into it, and how much um, you know, it's it's not us, it's not the coaches, it's them. Um, and you know, prep preparing for them. We went, we had a shoot around today, and, and you know, we really talked a lot about our, our stuff today. You know, let's make sure we execute Kansas um, better. And then today we scored like 20 points out of Kansas. So, again, cleaning up some little things, and it's it just, again, we have a really tough team. Um, and they're really fun to coach. Uh, Chantel, you said you're feeling really good right now, so we'll get to you <laughs> next. Uh, tonight, you're, it's a career high 28 points. What does that mean in such a big game? It's a ranked opponent. You know, it's, a conference te team, the best team, arguably, in the conference. What does that mean for you to get your career here, career high here tonight? Um, it was like it was really big because I know I watched the championship game last year on TV, so I kind of knew Vermont was a good team. So I, we just wanted to come out strong, and that just happened to be on. So it was a great feeling. So Chantal, I guess you're not gonna go out for ice cream with uh, Philip Pines. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, going back to last year's game, Caroline and Allie, you guys both were there. How much does it mean to you guys now after seeing that heartbreak loss this year and then having them come here tonight and getting them in, in an upset win? Um, it definitely means a lot. You know, um, every game in conference means so much. Um, obviously, we're just working towards um, the March 4th tournament right now. Um, but to protect our home court uh, in conference play is huge. Um, and to do it against the number one, the unanimous number one pick um, for preseason is, is real big. I mean, we're not we're not gonna settle on this. We've got more games to play, but we're definitely happy about this one. We're gonna we're gonna enjoy it tonight and get back to work tomorrow. Coach, can you just talk about uh, the huddle you guys had? Um, it was at early in the first half. You called timeout after Vermont got a steal in an easy way, and you were pretty a little ticked. Can you just talk? Yeah, about and, and and only because <coughs> I know our team's better than that. And to be honest with you, as I told our players at that timeout and at half. I mean, basically, they were getting all uncontested shots. Um, so, yeah, they should have been beating us by that much, but we were allowing that to happen. So let's start playing them a little bit more in our zone. And, and I take that as my fault. You know, I talk so much about penetration D that maybe we were off them a little bit. But, uh, again, I thought we made a great adjustment. We started playing people more. Um, you know, and also our turnovers, we, we started taking – we probably had – I know we had 15 turnovers. I would guess nine of them would be in the first six minutes of the game. Um, and we clean that up as well. So to have a team that really listens and makes adjustments within a game, um, you can't ask for anything more than that. You know? and, and again, everyone did. Um, I think early on, I'm sure Chantel and Mo would tell you that they were probably trying to get a feel for what the heck this team's all about. So a little that, a bit of that too. Um, but again, once that was figured out, you know, we were down 16 in the comeback, the resiliency to come back and take a two point lead in the half was, was great. And did you feel like you were kind of still feeling them out defensively too? Because I noticed you switched from zone early on to man. Right. We did. We went to man a little bit, uh, and then we finished the half in all two in our in all two three zone um, because we started playing them a little bit better. Uh, our two was huge in the second half. Again, you know, they went to the line seven times, and we went to the line twenty six times. So mm -hmm. our zone, you know, not fouling people. Uh, it, it's really the difference in the game, and our players really believe in our zone. Um, you know, they make me believe in it because uh, they, they play it so well. So I think our zone is what won the game. And then rebounding, um, everyone. I mean, Caroline had 12, Allie 7, Tana and uh, Carrie 6. I mean, we really rebounded the heck out of the ball out of our zone, which was great. And uh, in the man-to-man, -man, that's what really seemed to shut down Kostopoulos, number four there. She had, uh, I think we counted 18 points in the first 13 minutes. And then she had two the rest of the way. Uh, Chantel, you were covering her a lot in the man-to-man. -man. What did you do to like shut her down and keep her away from that three um, in the first and second half? Well, I noticed she was like a little kind of too far behind the arc, so like she just started dribbling close to that force her left because she she likes to go right a lot. So I just tried to contain her that way. Uh, 
uh, Caroline, tonight was probably your best statistical night of your career, and you had a solid game the other day as well. Uh, can you just talk about how you're feeling, how you're playing? Um, I think I do well because the girls around me do well. Um, you know, Tana missed a couple shots from the outside, but I thought I'd keep shooting because we're all going to be down there rebounding anyway. So, I mean, we just showed so much heart today that it just, you know, when we all when we all play together like that and we all play intense, everyone's going to have a good game. So, I mean, I base my success on everyone else. Coach, what, what do you think you guys need to do to limit the amount of turnovers? I know you've done a better job since the turn of the new year, but what 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 can you do to continue to get better in that category? Well, I think we're pretty good. I, I know we had 15 tonight, which, in all honesty, I think any coach across the country would take 15. I mean, your goal as a coach usually is let's stick around the, the 11, 12, 13. So 15 is not bad, especially against, a, like I told our team, a half, a, 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 an experienced senior team like Vermont. Uh, I, I really think a lot of our turnovers, like I said, uh, we were a little anxious. We, <coughs> I don't really think they were steals for Vermont. I thought we gave it to them in the first couple, ten minutes of the game. So um, I'm not concerned about it. You know, we, we're a free-wheeling team, as I like to say. Um, you know, our guards have the freedom to push in and make things happen. And if you play that style, you're going to have some turnovers. So um, I think our 15 turnovers today is solid. You know, I don't have the halftime stats, but I'm guessing that there weren't a lot in the second half. I guess on the whole, we kind of really have to touch on this. Uh, would you guys categorize this any of you, really? Um, if this was your best game of the year, like through and through, would you say it's your best win so far? Um, you know, it's, it's hard. These guys might say something different, but, you know, certainly our game, our, our win against <coughs> South Carolina was fantastic, you know, to, to, to beat an SEC team. Um, Look like that any day. <laughs> you know, first we had the opportunity to play them, and and it, it was that was a wonderful win for us. Um, but I have to tell you, like our our win tonight, it feels really good. But thankfully, we had we got the win on Saturday too. You know, so um, our conference is so important to take each game one one game at a time. And I know it's a cliche, and I know coaches love to say that. And and these guys know, oh, we beat Vermont. But you know what? You know, beating Vermont tonight um, feels great. But Maybe it doesn't feel so great if we lose the next two, you know. So if we keep taking one game at a time and, and really enjoying and appreciating. I have to tell you, as a coach, I really, really enjoyed tonight's game. I can't say that a whole lot. Mm -hmm. You're just usually so uptight, oh, my God, about everything. But it was a very <laughs> enjoyable game um, to, to see our players play with such confidence and such personality. It's, it's, it was great. Coach, I remember early in the season, a couple teams gave you some trouble with their press. Tonight, when Vermont started pressing, it didn't seem to do much of anything. Can you just talk about, you know, how, how that's been? Well, we're, I do think we're a seasoned uh, team versus a press. I mean, first game of the year, Kentucky had told our players that you would have thought we never saw a press in our life. <laughs> so, uh, and where we've come since then is just great. You know, South Carolina tried to press us, and we cut that out. Um, so we've gotten better, and, and as I know our non-conference has put us where we are right now. Um, you know, I think back to some of our losses, and it's like, oh, I wish we, you know, we should have won that game. Oh well, for some something out of that game, we got better with it. And if we had to take those bumps in the road back then, so be it. Now we're a much better team now. So, um, you know, I hope Eddie, you know, they pressed us. They showed that to Tana. Chantel was just dribbling right through it, no problem. Mm -hmm.